Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here today. I'm back at the church parking lot, and I have a brand new FMS. Uh, I wanted to say pits. It's the P-47 Bonnie, and uh, this is an airplane that I've always wanted. Not necessarily FMS, the P-47. And uh, FMS version is a 1500 millimeter wing. So it has got the same type of presence as the pits. So if you guys have seen the pits in person, you know this um, Razorback is, is a good size. It is big. And uh, I'm super excited to get this thing in the air for the first time. The wind has completely changed directions. It's now, it was coming from the trees back here, but now it's coming from a water tower. So we're gonna have to taxi it down and turn it around and bring it back this way. Guys, this thing is beautiful and I wanna take it home beautiful. So everybody cross your fingers, this flight goes good. We have some people watching in person today. I appreciate all you guys that are watching live and all the support everybody gives. Let's get this thing in the air. There we go. Get my hat turned around. I have my sunglasses on today, so I can't really see what everybody's saying. It is nice and bright. It is a beautiful day, and the wind's pretty decent right now. I could probably take off that way, but I don't want a chance. We'll go ahead and throw one click of flaps for takeoff. And uh, let's take it down here. Let's go around that lamppost. There we go. That looks pretty good right about there. We're going to bring it right up here. Nice and easy into the air. Everything Checked everything real good. I'm in high rates. I don't have safe enabled. I do have AS3X on with the gains at full. I have the ability to flip this switch to turn AS3X off if it starts causing a problem. And of course this airplane has retracts. Uh, with um, synchronized doors. All right, looks good. Let's do it. Want to ease into this power. These old warbirds like to torque turn. She's up nice and easy. I'm about half throttle right now. Putting the gear up. And flaps are off now see it shining that silver paint job shining in the sun oh it looks good staying in the power for those turns we know that warbirds like to stall it is rolling to the right just a hair Woohoo! that thing is wicked fast it does have the four bladed prop on it, which is um, it is actually four blades that you screw into a hub. I think the E-Flight P-51 is the same, same design. Might even be the exact same prop, who knows. It hanged inside, or inside out, upside down just fine. beautiful loop man i'm loving this airplane already guys it's got a beautiful presence in the air that was a straight roll just an aileron roll no elevator mixed in that is what a warbird is supposed to do i'm flying it on the spectrum smart uh 5000 Gen 2 battery. I think it's a 30C pack and it is doing just fine. I am, a, like I said, I'm just about half throttle right now. And uh, the, the 5000 Gen 2 battery was just the right size for this thing. There's an opening, a battery tray. There's some nice gust of wind that just hit.
slowing it down. Start looking at slower speeds, picking up speed for the turn, of course. And then this is the downwind. I want to slow it down a little bit and nose in to the wind. Start looking at approaches for landings. We'll get it into full flaps. Trying to decide if I need to walk down here to the other end of the parking lot. Start that direction. This will help me with the landing. Pick up some speed over here. You guys know how I don't want to don't want to stall it in those turns. Here we go. This is probably close enough to this end. Because I want to get it set up over here. Something like that. Of course, with the flaps down, so it'll slow down. I am in still in high rates. I could have smoothed that out a little bit more. I still am running full gains on AS3X. It is not jittery at all. And I did do a high speed pass to see if it would start oscillating and it did fine. All right. So I flipped the switch for the gear to come down. It'll take a little while because it has those synchronized doors. We'll check them when they come around. The only thing I could do is if they didn't go down is put them back up for the landing and hope for the least amount of damage, but they all came down. We're going to go one click on the flaps now and see what that does. It didn't balloon up too bad. It came up just a little bit, but not too bad really. Probably need to mix in just a little bit of down elevator. That looked pretty decent. So this time when we get it down here, as uh, soon as I get it turned around, we'll take it just a little farther this time and go to full flaps. It just gave me the timer. There we're at full flaps now. Nose is down just a little bit, backing out of the throttle, letting the nose drop. Oh, woo! I saved that. I gave it a little throttle and I was giving it full right rudder and elevator to get it to turn before it hit those parking blocks. Oh, that was going to be a disaster. And uh, these do like to turn. They got that torque. Um, I think even the full scales have that same issue. Of course, they're riding them rudders and they got that, what do they call it, uh, the bubble, riding the bubble, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I appreciate everybody being along for the ride today on today's maiden of the FMS P47 Bonnie. The 1500 millimeter version is a plug and play. I do have a Spectrum AR630, which is the antenna-less, no antenna version it did great i don't fly really far out so it did great um this airplane i love it i can't wait to get it out and fly it again i appreciate all you guys uh just super happy and thankful to the lord for giving me such a great day to get out here and fly my new airplane it just came in the mail yesterday and uh well i just couldn't wait to get it out here so Guys, uh, if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me that thumbs up, and leave some great comments. Until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. Thanks, guys. This airplane was awesome, just the way I expected it to be. Had a lot of fun. I appreciate all you guys hopping on to watch. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Chris. You guys are awesome. It's a great airplane. 
and as long as I got decent weather I will be flying this airplane a lot as much as the pits I love flying the pits too this is probably my favorite warbird so expect